Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of what is it? March fifteenth through the twenty-first. Okay, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for March fifteenth? Through the 21st for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now keep in mind, not every reading is for you. So take what resonates. Oops, and leave the rest. So what do we have for Taurus? Flowers. That's happiness, right? Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. And Lily, spiritual love. So you are going through a new doorway. There's a door opening for you that is going to make you extremely happy. And it has to do with spiritual love. Um, flowers are, uh, to me, they're a sign of romance. Okay. Um, also very beautiful. So you, you've got something beautiful happening for you. Um, there's an opportunity. There's a, there's a doorway that is opening that is definitely going to make you happy by the looks of things. Maybe you just have to go through that door, right? Maybe. Maybe you got to go through that doorway. Looks like the door is closed to me. Open the door. Oh, ooh. Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is the is the uh New star in love. Emotional fulfillment. Things getting better. So the Ace of Cups is love. Oh my God. With the Four of Wands. And the Seven of... Let your guard down. <laughs> oh, Taurus. Looks like you need to let your guard down. Seven of Wands. Reverse surrender. Stop fighting it. You're fighting something. You need to stop fighting something. If you feel like you're in a tough position, you're trying to protect yourself, perhaps you need to let go of the barrier. There's an opportunity for happiness, a, a, a lot of happiness. I mean, it can't get any happier than that. The Four of Cups is getting together, having fun, celebrating proposals, marriages, commitment, building a foundation. You may be getting an offer of love from somebody or you're in a situation where things are going to be getting better. You may have a commitment that is stepping it up to the next level or you're, you're getting into a new commitment. This is a get together, a gathering. You may be attending a party or something like that for some of you, not everybody. But this is a, this is a new beginning in love or a new start in love or things getting better. Okay, this is a lot of happiness. I mean, happiness, spiritual love. I mean, these two, this whole thing goes together. Okay, it does. Those are basically the same cards. So you, whatever is happening here, this is love. Okay, you can even go like that. <laughs> Either one. Okay, but you but you really need to let your guard down. You know, stop being so protective of yourself. It feels like you've got this. You're in a tough position. You may be pushing somebody away. You know, nope. Gotta protect myself. You may be feeling overwhelmed. So anyway, this week you have an opportunity for happiness. You're probably going to be receiving an offer or getting together with somebody that could really, really make you happy, okay? But you're going to have to not push them away. And I feel like you are pushing them away. You're trying to or something like that. Anyhow, there's probably a commitment that is stepping up, up to the next level. And I feel like you... You may, you know, if you, there's a lot of pushing away here, whatever that means to you. Oh, that one didn't come up, so I got to take it. Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands is victory. It's yes. This is a win. Right? This is, this is, uh, just do it. Just say, just say yes. 
I think there's been some sort of battle. There's been some sort of competition, but the competition is over. You know, you win. This is a win. Hold your head up high. Be proud of yourself. You're, you're, you're receiving some sort of recognition from somebody. This is being recognized, and you should be proud of who you are. Hmm. There's definitely a battle that is over. Some sort of battle is over. There's been some sort of, uh, well, this is competition as well. The, this is being done with the competition. The competition is definitely over. You can relax. You can relax. You win. You're going to be receiving some sort of happy news where, I don't know if it's like you win, and, and you have a lot to be proud of. Ten of Wands, overwhelmed. Did I, did I say that earlier? I think I did. I think that you have been trying to... You know, fight an uphill battle. I think you've had a lot on your plate. You may have been overwhelmed, you know, trying to prove something, uh, carrying a heavy burden, but this is it. It's over. Tens are completions. This is the end. You can, you can relax. You can relax now. I feel like something is over. You know, you're going to be, you're, you're going to be receiving some really happy news by the looks of things. If you don't have to fight anymore, you know, you can, you can just relax, whatever that, whatever it is, you, and I don't know if you've been, who you've been fighting with, could be somebody in your family, the four of wands can be family, it doesn't have to be a, a love partner, whatever it is, you're going to be receiving some sort of happy news that it makes you extremely happy, you can relax, you can breathe, you win, whatever you, it is that you're winning, you're winning, and I feel like you've, you've had to fight a really tough battle, and I don't know who it's with, but I feel like there's some sort of recognition. You are respected for who you are. I think that you've had to fight. You don't have to fight anymore, okay? You don't have to fight. It's over. Three of Wands reversed. Now, the Three of Wands reversed is lack of foresight, wasted time, unprepared. Somebody's been unprepared. They're unprepared for, for something. An arrival? Or they were unprepared or you're unprepared. You are unprepared for some sort of victory that is coming your way. Or you, maybe you are unprepared for some sort of recognition. You know, you didn't see it coming. Not seeing this. Somebody didn't see. They didn't see the opportunities. There's been some wasted time. Lack of foresight with three of wands reversed. Somebody wasn't seeing that there was an opportunity. They weren't seeing. Maybe they weren't seeing your strength. You I mean the six of wands is a very strong individual who has persevered through some sort of battle. There's perseverance here. You can relax now. Just relax. You don't don't worry about it anymore. <laughs> Whatever it is, you don't have to worry about it. And I think that you have been holding on to something, carrying a heavy burden, worried, overwhelmed. But this is a spiritual blessing. This is spiritual love. We have, we have a spiritual blessing here. Mm -hmm. Three of Cups reversed. So Three of Cups reversed is has something to do with uh, people that don't support you. Maybe you've been dealing with people that is holding on to people, friends, family that don't support you. This is this is severing ties with those people. Unfortunately, yes, it's unfortunate. Unfortunate. You may have been dealing with some gossip or some. People that were jealous or something like that, but this party is over. There's been extreme competitiveness. We have, we have, we do, we we have competitive. Somebody's, you've been, somebody's been competing with you for some reason, and you've had to compete. Maybe it's a third party situation. You know, I don't know if it's a lover, a family member, a friend, 
but I feel like this is parting ways. Somebody is parting ways with an individual where there's no emotional growth, there's no happiness, there's no joy, and there is happiness here to be had. You're going to be ha I feel like there's somebody that is walking away from somebody that, uh, I don't know, maybe put them in a third party or treated them unfairly or abused them or cheated on them or something like that. I mean, the three of cups reverse is a lack of emotional growth. There's, there's, or, or there's people that have been gossiping, that have been against you, that have been trying to weigh you down. And I feel like you're letting go of these people. And I don't know who the, or a person, it's people though. I think it's people. I think you've been up against some people and you've had to, you've had to be a warrior, right? You've had to be, you've had to be a warrior. You've had to fight. This fight is over. Thank the Lord. <sighs> I just want to breathe a sigh of relief. So, you know, maybe this is a sigh of relief that this is over, you know. Um, it's been rough, okay. I feel like you've, you've been, there's a termination here with the Three of Cups reverse. There's like a termination of a friendship or a termination of a... I think it's a, a third party situation or a partnership with somebody that you have been dealing with. It may be emotional to let this, these people go or this situation go, but I think that you have to let them go to have happiness. You've definitely, you know, the, the three of cups could be like a gang up, you know, it could be like three women or three people, three family members, whoever it is that just will do anything to weigh you down. Take a look at that. That is being weighed down to cause you strife and there has been strife somebody has really put you in a position where you have to fight but you're gonna win this party is over The devil. We could be dealing with a Capricorn. We could be dealing with a Capricorn. We could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this is severing ties. It is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. Right? I mean, the devil is taking back control. It's breaking free. It's severing ties. I mean, what more can I say? I feel like this, this, during this week, you are going to have some sort of victory over something that has weighed you down. You are free from this. You're free. The devil reversed is free. There's been a lot of suffering. There's been a lot of despair. There's been, things have gotten worse. I feel like you've dealt with somebody that is toxic, that is in a deep, dark place that has uh this person has been talking behind your back they've been gossiping about you they've been causing you strife they've involved you in a situation with other people that you've had to uh deal with you know you've had to a fight it's almost like you've had to fight for your life you've had to fight for respect you've had to fight with these people <laughs> oh boy but whoever it is that you're dealing with I feel like they are being dropped I feel like there's something is being dropped you this burden this weight this baggage is being dropped you're dropping it you don't have to prove yourself anymore to these people and maybe you it feels like you obviously you've had to prove yourself that's a given all right you've had to prove yourself but it's over it's over whoever you're dealing with I feel like um, they're very unhealthy they have a huge ego this person is a master manipulator, and I think that um, they are unprepared. This person is unprepared for your win. They are unprepared for your, uh, maybe it's a departure. 
you know it feels like you, they're unprepared for you to uh, be recognized for who you are because that six of wands is recognition it's like public recognition as well if you have been in a deep dark place with some people I think there is obviously I feel like there's three people involved um, it's coming to an end with that ten of wands you're not gonna have to go you know fight this uphill battle anymore okay I feel like you're gonna be free of it something is happening where you're gonna be free of this situation and you're gonna be extremely happy maybe you're maybe you're you're uh, going through a new doorway all right this is like a doorway and this is a door Ooh, judgment on the bottom so judgment is a judgment call. It could also have something to do with court. Somebody could be going to court and a final verdict is being made. This is also karma. It is a card of acceptance and absolution. It is the end of things. So something is coming to an end. This trial is over. It's time for a new life. What comes after judgment day, you know, typically it's resurrection, right? Now that's my belief. You know, it's a new life. It could be a rebirth. Um... But judgment is also a card of a, of a life-changing decision that is being made. Could also have to do with forgiveness. You may need to forgive somebody this, this, this week. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. Or there is just a judgment that is being made that changes your life. Okay, this is a life-changing decision. Truths are being revealed this week. Okay, somebody is going to be held accountable for their actions. I think it's whoever it is that you are dealing with that is extremely egotistical. This person doesn't see, doesn't see that they are going to lose. And I feel like oh, you're going to win. Anyhow, um, judgment is... Uh, a spiritual awakening it's epiphany of some sort somebody's about to get an epiphany um, in regards to the truth may have something to do with a reconciliation as well um, somebody has been tied to a situation that is unhealthy and toxic this is breaking free it is definitely breaking free from that toxic situation and um, getting into something that is um, more emotionally fulfilling some of you are going to be getting together with somebody or you're going to be deepening a bond with somebody that uh, is not toxic this person is not toxic they are not materialistic they are not unhealthy they are not in it just for lust or money or selfish reasons some of you are going to be getting an offer from somebody that is going to is going to help you to release is going to help you to release this load or lighten the load. It feels like you've been doing a lot. You've had a heavy load on your plate. This is a heavy load right here. It's a heavy load. I feel like there's there's some sort of this is a resolution as well. I do believe that and this is a uh well, you see that ace of wands. That, that that could be a new partner, a new sexual partner, a new exciting opportunity that is coming in for somebody that has persevered through a toxic situation. I feel like you have been in a toxic situation. Where, where you've had to break free and you've had to fight, but it's over. This is it. Okay, you're, you are definitely receiving a reward or some sort of recognition for persevering through something. All right? Um, whoever, you're, whoever is coming in to your life to help you, I feel like there's help arriving and you're not, and you probably don't see it coming or maybe if it's already there, congratulations. This is unprepared. I think that you're unprepared for, you know, a new beginning, but there is a new beginning here. Definitely overwhelmed doing it alone, carrying a heavy heavy burden by yourself. Maybe you've decided not to socialize or decided not to date. I mean, the 3 of cups reversed and this just shows up.
Anyway, Taurus, I feel as though you're going to have to make a judgment call this week. Or there is somebody that is in a position of authority that is making a judgment call. This is a life-changing decision, a life-changing moment. You're probably going to be deepening a bond with somebody and severing ties at the same time, which is interesting. I feel like you're unprepared to be recognized and there is somebody here that sees your strength or they see something on you that is very attractive. I mean, that is very attractive. And I feel like, I feel like you need to, uh, maybe you need to go out and have some fun. You know, this is not having any fun. Maybe you need to stop working so much. Maybe you're too busy. You've, you've, you've been, maybe you need to go out and have some fun. Somebody may ask you out on a date. <laughs> I don't know about that. But anyway, maybe you work too much. Anyhow, there is an opportunity here that could make you really, really, really happy. You need to let your guard down. Be honest with yourself. You're going to have to make a life-changing decision this week, and you're going to be presented with one. There is also some sort of truths that are being revealed. You may be unprepared for that. You may be unprepared to hear something. And it may have something to do with the laws. It has to do with the court. There could be an arrival. I think I said that earlier. I think that there's a you, could, you may be unprepared. Somebody may be asked may ask you if you will do something. You may have to make a life-changing decision. Could be an arrival or a departure. So anyway, this does have to do with a commitment, committing yourself to something. You want to commit yourself to this or not? So whatever this is, this is a new start that could bring you a lot of happiness. I mean, the Ace of Cups is a, is a new love, okay? It's... it's uh, a new beginning in love, whatever it means. Or if you're in a loving relationship now, it's things getting better and the relationship stepping it up to the next level, deepening a bond. Whatever is happening, that last card, judgment, is the end of things. It's the end of strife. It's the end of competition. You can breathe a sigh of relief. You think about it, the end of a trial, when the verdict comes out and uh, there's relief. It's like, oh, thank you. That's what I got. Good luck.